Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Legend BTV, where legends go for music discussion, comedy, and more. And today, we're not actually talking about music today. We're talking about every Dan Schneider show ranked. For two decades, Dan Schneider has made some classic family sitcoms that have made children and even adults laugh. From his starting days working on classics like All That, then moving on to things like iCarly, and then on his current show, Game Shakers. Yes, that new show is currently finishing up its tenure and also his tenure at Nickelodeon. Recently, it was confirmed that Nickelodeon had cut Dan Schneider from the network altogether, as many accounts of abusive behavior have been filed against him. Side note, apparently it is rumored that he has a creepy foot fetish. I'll just leave this here. <laughs> but what do I personally think of his shows? Well, you'll find out here. I'm going to rank every show of his from worst to best. Note, since we're celebrating him getting canned from Nick, we're only going to be ranking his Nickelodeon shows from worst to best. So anything like what I like about you or whatever will not be featured here. Just his Nickelodeon shows. With that out of the way, let's go. Number 10, Game Shakers. Dan Schneider always wears his influences on his sleeve. He loves to incorporate classic media into his shows and kind of parody it and also include fun easter eggs from past shows of his into his newer work. Unfortunately, this show is just a bit much. There's literally nothing new here at all. Rehashed characters, cliche plots with really overdone and undercooked humor. Really, let me give you an example of how bad this show really is. There's this episode titled The One with the Coffee Shop, which the title alone already struck me as a ripoff of Friends and the way they title their episodes. What's worse is they cringily copy that episode with Hudson standing and singing like Phoebe from Friends sitting almost the exact same way, standing near a window in a coffee shop, just like she did. And there's even a sign that says, I'll be there for brew, like, oh. But you thought that's where the cringe ended? Ha 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 ha. You're funny. He even ends up after the song that he sings, the painfully unfunny song that he sings, ends up singing the exact same song that Melody and Thad sang on The Amanda Show. It's literally the exact same song. He thought he would be sneaky and just kind of throw that in and pass it off as a new joke, when really, it's not. Now, of course, kids from the new generation who haven't seen The Amanda Show wouldn't know that, but you ain't fooling me. Yeah, overall, the show's truly Dan Schneider at the bottom of the barrel. And after this, yeah, it's about time he needs a break. Number nine, Sam and Cat. Yeah, this show is pretty much set up to fail. It stars two of the second fiddle characters from Dan Schneider's previous shows, throwing a few more forgettable main characters, an uninteresting and easy to think of babysitting setup, and the fact that the humor is easily predictable, and it's just a show that you simply don't need if you already have iCarly and Victorious. Number eight. Henry Danger. This show is very bland. That's basically how I can sum it up. Once again, we just are to the point where Dan Schneider is just rehashing old character traits on much less interesting actors. Sometimes the characters can be overly mean-spirited and unlikable, but other times they're just pretty generic. The show also suffers from trying way too hard to be Drake and Josh. On the upside though, there are a few moments in the show where I do get a genuine laugh or two now and then. It's not completely humorless. Plus, Ray is a decently funny character and Henry can get a couple of laughs out of me now and then. Number seven, Victorious. Despite the placement being low, in general, I like this show. Sure, the episodes are silly, but the show actually has some unique personality and charm to it. Pointing out one of the characters we have, Psychowitz, who at first seems like a Spencer ripoff, but they put more of a laid-back, chill, yet goofy and comedic twist on him. The characters in general are pretty alright. Favorites include the wackiness of, of Robbie and the hilarity of Rex. Also, Psychowitz, he's pretty funny. The show in general is decently funny and, in my opinion, the last good show Dan Schneider ever made. Number 6, Zoe 101. This was Dan Schneider's attempt at a more serious, pretty much a kid-friendly soap opera. Don't get me wrong, it does have a comedic twist to it and several good gags, but there's also more story-driven elements to it as well. It's also the only Dan Schneider show to not feature a laugh track. There are a few complaints I have, such as a lot of the cliche, cheesy music and harmonizing playing every time something big happens. That's pretty annoying. Zoe and her friends are generally pretty likable characters, except the show paints Zoe as like this perfect girl when in general, it just makes the rest of the other characters look inferior and I don't really like that kind of character. Like really, the show paints everything as like such a happy ending for her and in my opinion, it just seems unfair. Number five iCarly. Arguably one of, if not his most popular show, iCarly lasted for a whopping over five years. I don't think this show's perfect by any means. Believe me, it has its issues and some of them could be pretty big. But 
I'd be lying if it said I didn't have a special place in my heart. Many funny, memorable episodes, tons of cool quotes, and just a lot of chemistry from these three teenagers from Seattle turning into internet icons. We'd be here all day if I spoke about a lot of the positives, so let's actually jump into some negatives I have this show. Firstly, the actual web show. The web show generally consists of a bunch of corny and unfunny skits of humor. The kind of stuff where it's, if it's some of your close friends doing this kind of stuff, it could be like mildly amusing, but the fact that it's like a TV show writing this kind of humor, I just feel like they just completely missed the mark in terms of this comedy stuff they do on iCarly. Plus, I hate the way they use Freddy as the show's punching bag. Freddy shouldn't be. He generally does nothing wrong. He's nice, likable, and pretty smart. Yet he's treated like dirt. Not just by Sam, but by everybody, it seems like. Just such a baffling choice. Like, in almost every episode, something unfair or just uncalled for happens to him. It's really kind of sad. Plus, that SETI arc was dreadful. Still, the good outweighs the bad. And this is definitely a show that will live in my heart forever. Number four, The Amanda Show. After Amanda's long tenure on all that, she finally got her own show. And it sure is something. It's full of creative, well-written, stupid humor, and features very memorable skits such as Judge Trudy, Totally Kyle, and Mr. Have Oldman, to name a few. Radio! It also feels like one of the most forgotten Dan Schneider shows, and that's truly a shame, because I love it. Number three, All of That. Oh my god, what a classic. Seasons four to five of this show have some of this company's best humor to date. The humor is stupid, sure, but with the most excellent execution. Incredibly funny cast with so many fresh creative ideas. You get a brand new stereo! Cool! This is more like it. <laughs> I do have to say, unfortunately, that seasons one to three weren't really the funniest and that it did have to kind of warm up to be the powerhouse that it was in its prime, in my opinion at least. But still, the show was definitely amazing. For sure, a Nickelodeon classic and one of the first of many strokes of Dan Schneider genius. Number two, Keenan and Kel. The dynamic duo team up this time for this incredible show. Full of fun plots and off the wall antics, the characters have lots of fun and unique traits to them. Lots of simple but effective goofy shenanigans happen at Rigby's grocery store, featuring their creatively silly boss, Chris Potter. Kel loves to irritate Keenan's dad, which is also hilarious. Who could forget the orange soda chant, though? Plus, these laugh tracks sound really hilarious. <laughs> no luck. Oh, man. <laughs> and finally, number one. Drake and Josh. The most consistently awesome Dan Schneider show ever. Very few moments do I think, wow, this is uncalled for, or wow, this is unrealistic. The characters have incredible chemistry, and there's not even a single episode I would consider downright awful. Aside from being genuinely hilarious, the show also has some sweet moments, too. Josh finally realizing he can be just as good as Drake and get girls on Who's Got Game, the brotherly love of the Dr. Phyllis show, or the ending performance on the second to finale, Really Big Shrimp. Plus, the show avoids that lame trope of, oh, just because they're Drake and Josh, they can get away with anything. No. When they mess up, they will pay for it. That's what I love about this show. And, of course, Keenan and Kel does that, too, but yeah. Also, best of all, this show inspired my favorite YouTube poop of all time, the Drake and Josh YouTube poop collaboration. I never thought that it'd be so simple, but I found a way, I found a way. I'll link it below because it was taken off of YouTube, unfortunately. But it is still on Daily Motion. You can search it up now. It is absolutely fantastic. The show was a peak for Dan Schneider for sure and will forever go down as a kids' sitcom classic. Final thoughts? Well, Dan might not have been perfect, but he will definitely be missed. That's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed my video, please let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications so you'll never miss a video again. And like my video, please. I tend to upload on a fairly regular basis. And down below, I got some fresh videos for you guys. Love you guys so much. Thank you all. This was definitely a fun project, and Dan Schneider will be missed. Yeah, tell me what you think about Dan Schneider leaving down below.